being human. The Legend of Play and Imagination Once there was play, and once there was imagination. Play meant imagination in the clouds, where anything is possible, where forms might be a shape, an animal, a place. They flew together higher and higher where the star stands, and they made wishes, and they pretended to be humans. And as they skipped from star to planet, exploring galaxies, hiding from black holes, they got lost. They cried. They were vulnerable. They sought comfort in the night. And under the full moon, they found each other again while playing hide and go seek. As the sun rose, they dove down into the oceans and they fought over who would ride the seahorse or the dolphin. There was blame. A gentle passing whale sang a song that only they could hear. And in this vibration of nature that cradled them, they learned to forgive. As they swam to shore, they saw the sun refracting on the shells. They felt the sand and they grappled with how one becomes all. When rain poured, the happening of a rainbow shelter them in colors, and there they smell how perspective and meaning shapes the ambiguity of humanity. Together, play and imagination build an existence where life was co-created, a tangible dimension that would express democracy, equity, and social justice by amplifying creativity. But they could only sustain these actions if their presence is valued, so they climbed a willow tree and ask the wise old owl how they could survive and thrive on planet Earth. He told them to be in nature, to be in schools, to be in homes, to be like air, everywhere. He suggested they take the form of water, flexible and adaptable, so they could exist anywhere. He told them to construct in collaboration because through this reciprocity, they will learn to understand their environment and in doing so, what it means to be human. And so they did. <laughs>